your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection, lights a spark. It's like you know me in the depths of my heart. We're dreamers. In this episode, we explore the incredible Komodos National Park region. Just take a look at this for an anchorage. We enjoy a special sundowners with our friends on SV Elusive and I whip up a seafood paella for dinner. Morning all. So how's this? We, um, when we pulled in here yesterday, there was a big finisi out here. And uh, we'd sort of scoped this spot out on the sat and thought, oh yeah, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be right to, um, we'll be right to drop here. And we did, we dropped in about 15 metres of water, which is sort of out in the sand. But then, like our arse end was sort of facing to the west. And then last night, we've obviously swung because there's no wind at all. We've obviously swung and our boat has actually just swung out across some reef. Um, but look at this. How spectacular is this anchorage? Unbelievable. I gotta show you the coolest thing. See the coral? So we're just hanging, hanging over this reef at the moment. It's amazing. I'm glad the chain's out there though, so we don't bloody scrape any coral, but we've got our own little aquarium in the boat. Sarah's fascinated at the moment. What you doing, love? Looking at your fish. Look at the little parrots. Little tiny ones, but at least. How cool they're... is that? Oh, there's a parrot right there. Good size. Good size? No, not for eating. Just a good reef cleaner. Good table size parrot. <laughs> no. We don't take parrots, do we? It's cleaning. What? Yeah, that's why we don't take parrots, because they clean all of the. Uh, algae off the reef which is responsible for keeping the reef alive believe it or not oh that is a good sized parrot hmm. you can't really see the fish in a gopro biggest one i've seen in a while how amazing is that though from the escape hatch lots of little jellies yeah just beautiful uh, we're actually now on the way to shotgun pass which uh is this big opening just over here um, this is the Komodo Island or the Komodo or Komodo Island whatever um, the scenery here is just out of this world hey look at these hills the water's spectacular oh man I love it elusive uh, rafting up on, wait, are they rafting up on our starboard side? Um, or our port side? Right, Elusive are um, pulling up on our starboard side and the other mono, um, Alba Venture, are coming on our port side. That's it. And we're just, Dad's just getting the fenders ready. And then we're going to go for a small thing this beautiful place. Yes. Elusive raft up first, and next, Alba Venturer come in. Ian has some Swedish crew on board. Welcome, Sam and Oscar.
just get a load of this amazing location. And we couldn't wait to get in the water. The free diving was spectacular. Komodo National Park is known for the Komodo Dragon. Sam captured this amazing footage of a local lizard going for a stroll. But the most memorable moment for me was just about to happen. We just dropped Sarah off and she is literally swimming amongst like 50 to 100 manta ray. It is unbelievable. Look at them all in the water. Go that way! There's like a hundred of them! Stop. There's just something about manta ray. They are by far my favorite marine creature. Their gracefulness underwater is captivating. These guys are filter feeders and they're actually swimming against the current gracefully without even exerting themselves. Manta ray are actually closely related to sharks, and unlike stingrays, they don't have a stinging barb.
Each and every manta ray is uniquely identified by their belly patterns. Just like a fingerprint, each one is different. How was that? Best thing ever. <laughs> What'd you just say to me? It was better than what? Better than sex. <laughs> That was how many? How many? What do you reckon you counted? I counted 45. 45. I, I, I reckon there would have been over 100. Like, yeah, easily. At least. And easily. I felt like I was part of them. I was doing this underwater along with them and I felt like I was part of the herd. Is it a herd? I, I don't, don't know. know. But I was like, I'm, I'm in. And I was just cruising along. It was fucking the best thing ever. <laughs> that was absolutely incredible. The coolest thing I've ever ever experienced, oh ever done. Oh my god, I just, I couldn't believe how many there were and they were so, like, they, they just knew where we were the whole time, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. They're so spatially aware. That's what I was looking for, spatially aware. Um, like, and you get those big eyes looking at you. I went down deep, so deep I, I don't know, I looked up and was like, oh shit. <laughs> and as I was coming up, there was one above me and it just moved out of my way and Yep. But it was right above my head. Amazing, huh? Absolutely amazing. I'm so glad we waited. Like, I'd had the shits and I was ready to go when all those people were there. And I just went, oh, you know what? Being in there with all those boats was dangerous, it like was you dangerous. said. It was dangerous. Absolutely. I'm so glad we went off on our own and we found, we found like, the biggest... I, I reckon boat. there was a hundred, at oh. least. Yeah, and they were just... That current is ripping through there and they're just... They make it look so easy. I don't know how they like, do that. I was kicking my legs really hard to keep up with yep. them. And they're just like gracefully flapping their wings. Oh. It's the best thing I've ever done. <laughs> best things, hands, hand, hands down, the best thing I've ever done. <laughs> what? Shut show. up. Oh, that was make amazing. Fun of me? That was amazing. And look at the weather now. Look at this. Oh. I'm on cloud nine. It is just <laughs> ridiculous now. This is the ocean. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Perfectly reflected in the water. Oh wow. What'd you think, Brady Joy? Pretty cool. Pretty cool? Yeah. They're strong, that's for sure. Oh they're strong. How are they just And they're huge. They're so big. Yeah. Yeah. I reckon I came across one that was at least three to four meters wide. At least. Oh, wow. What an experience, huh? They're what an experience. Creature. Amazing creature. I couldn't resist the urge to dive in again to see Manta the next morning. But we saw some other creatures as well. This turtle came over to say hello. In the past six months, we haven't seen many turtles or sharks. Turtles and sharks are a great indication of a healthy reef. And lo and behold, just underneath this turtle swims a little black tip reef shark. I will never forget this magical moment in Komodo National Park swimming with the manta ray. Join us next time when I'm in for another big surprise. Hello. And guess what's on the other side of that door? Thanks for watching.